Greetings to all. Welcome back to another session of my YouTube channel. Now this session is not related to carving but a very important session for dental anatomy practical. So once you finish all the carving exercises you need to know the age determination of a cast a very important exercise in forensic science and uh, to master this age determination exercise you should know the eruption pattern of all the teeth so when i was looking for a particular image uh, which i can use for my explanation of age determination exercise i found this chart very helpful and very well explained for this exercise and i acknowledge all the contributors uh, who has designed this chart so i am using uh, this chart for my explanation now the title is eruption sequence of deciduous and permanent dentition so before we start first we should understand the layout so there are four rows and uh, the upper two rows uh, upper rows and the lower uh, row the bottom row it has mentioned 1 2 3 4 5 6 8 and 1 2 3 4 5 6 8 so these are permanent quadrant permanent teeth so upper arch and the lower arch so upper quadrant and lower quadrant and middle two rows uh, are showing deciduous dentition and the uh, num names are a b c d e a b c d so this is upper quadrant and lower quadrant now if you see <coughs> some numbers are written so these are eruption uh, time for upper teeth and you can see green color this is eruption time for lower permanent teeth similarly here also eruption time for deciduous and eruption time for lower deciduous quadrant so uh, this is the layout now we will see um, how to remember and how to uh, uh, master the uh, time time for uh, eruption of all the teeth now instead of uh, learning uh, uh, in sequence i will explain you in different manner so whenever teeth erupt they erupt in batches okay so first is deciduous set so in deciduous set if you see uh, first uh, tooth six months so when baby is edentulous and when you see the first sign of tooth eruption it will be lower central incisor so uh, a a is incisors upper and lower b is lateral incisor c is canines deciduous canines d and e is deciduous molar so five teeth in each quadrant similarly uh, these two are permanent incisors permanent lateral incisor central incisor lateral incisor three is for canine four is maxillary first molar five is four is um, first premolars sorry first premolars um, then um, second premolars first permanent molar seven is max uh, second uh, permanent molar and third molar which is also called as wisdom tooth okay so let us start with the eruption time so first tooth which erupts in the uh, edentulous uh, oral cavity is uh, mandibular central deciduous incisor so it is at six months and the last tooth which erupts is maxillary second deciduous molar is 24 months so deciduous dentition the timeline or the duration of uh, eruption of all the set of deciduous starts from six months and it finishes um, at 24 months so variations can happen but this is the standard timing for the eruption uh, uh, sequence now second is let us uh, see the deciduous uh, the permanent dentition now the first tooth again in the permanent dentition which erupts is six to seven year so mandibular permanent central incisor erupts at six to seven now uh, you should remember that permanent dentition it erupts in batches so first we will see the first batch of eruption so they erupt together so permanent mandibular central incisor erupts with 
permanent first molar so you can say 6 to 7 6 to 7 6 to 7 so these three teeth erupts together so this is the first batch of eruption so if you see a mixed dentition so you have uh, still few deciduous dentition and then behind deciduous molar you should also look for this tooth right so um, these incisors the deciduous central incisor will be replaced by mandibular central incisor sometimes they erupt they, most of the time they erupt lingually so buccally you will the labially you will see deciduous incisor still present and on the lingual aspect with nice mammalon you will see this tooth erupting so you will see cr crowding in the incisor area and distal to uh, deciduous molar you will see uh, permanent molar also so these three teeth erupts together okay first batch of permanent now uh, then remaining incisors come later so six to seven you should remember six to seven mandibular central seven to eight seven to eight and eight to nine so it goes like this 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 and this okay so like this you direction you remember six to seven seven to eight seven to eight these two are together and eight to nine so this is how incisor batch is the second batch remaining incisor batch is the second batch now you now canine will come little later okay now next batch is premolar batch if you see the premolar batch it is around 10 to 12 years 10 to so they start little early than canine it is till 11 it starts at 11 so first premolar is 10 to 12 and uh, second premolar 10 to 12 and 11 to 12 so this starts little early and this is little later but variations can happen in patient canine and premolar may overlap okay so premolar batch and then uh, see the lower canine it is very early 9 to 10 so i didn't mention along with the premolar because i wanted to explain you separately this canine erupts before premolar so the crowding or malocclusion chances of malocclusion it is little less in mandibular arch but if you compare uh, this uh, uh, arch you can see that it is 10 to 12 and uh, this is little later 11 to 12 so once they have started erupting then maxillary canine show the signs of eruption that is why the crowding and malocclusion with canine is a frequent phenomena so e this tooth uh, usually erupts buccally or palatally if the space is not enough for its placement because canine is very bulky crown also, also it has a bulky root okay so the uh, on both the sides teeth has already erupted incisors and premolars and then it comes late and most of the time there is no enough space for the placement of this bulky fat canine okay now if you see this canine in a cast it is erupted erupting you should also see that second position of second molar so it is 11 to 12 12 to 13 11 to 13 so age range is almost same so when canines are erupting uh, second permanent molars are also erupting okay so in a cast if you see canine you should also look for permanent second molar okay now last is third molars it is always in the uh, the eruption time is always last 17 and above 17 and above variations can happen most of the time these teeth are absent also in arch okay but if you have this cast in exam and if you see all teeth have already been erupted then uh, third molar is erupting then the age of the cast will be 17 and above 17 and above so this is the basic descri description of eruption sequence of deciduous and permanent dentition and uh, then whenever you see the cast you should um, understand this eruption chart in batches then only within uh, uh, time limitation you can identify 
uh, your age of the caste for your spotting exam or age determination exercise very quickly thank you so much i hope this uh, ex explanation um is helpful thank you